Over 40 women in Africa have been honored with recognition of African Iconic Award and Women in Leadership, organized by Heavy Hand Project, held in Abuja. Speaking during the award presentation, awardees, honored girls, and project manager have this to say. I'm Senator Zes Falashade Ben Siouen, and I'm an awardee for tonight's the African Iconic Woman uh, Award. I'm one of the very, very lucky awardees. Well, um, the category which I was uh, nominated for is um, the award for people that have impacted on the life of uh, mankind. And um, my record is there for anybody to check. I have an NGO that I've used as a platform to impact on lives, on the lives of women, youth, the girl child, and in so many ways. So, um, my constituents should expect greater things, not just my constituents, Nigerians, because it's an NGO that cuts across um, religion divide, it cuts across ethnic divide. It is a platform that is meant for the improvement of life of the downtrodden and the less privileged. So it's not just my constituency, it's a platform that I've used for every Nigerian that my way, my path crosses theirs. The category which I was nominated for, I've been had a lot of women who have track record, women of success have been matched as a winner. I'm so excited. I was nominated for Young Athlete of the Year. Okay, so what is your advice to young children like you? Well, I really hope to inspire them and they should always believe in themselves and never give up. Well, I, I want to congratulate you my excellence well, from Sega. It is clearly honor well deserved. The first lady of Ebony State hit the ground running. She has achieved a lot through her pet program called Bewo. And that is why we are here today. Uh, I'm very, very happy uh, for what is happening here because this is the icon, African icon woman of the women. I've done their research very, very well. And uh, the voting was also very interesting because it's a very keenly contested award. And uh, I'm very, very happy to congratulate my wife of the governor of my state, who have done very well within one year in the office. In fact, what they have done, you can't believe it. And since the creation of our state, we have never had it so good. You know, so I congratulate her, I congratulate her, and I said more good to her. And I really want to say kudos to the organizers, and it's really good bringing people together to, you know, acknowledge what they do best. So yes. So how does it feel when the agenda is being in a society where it is men, women, and women? Yes. Yes. As a humanitarian who presently runs the foundation, I want to say. I feel really good. It's um, in a man's world where yeah, we have so many men occupying um, uh, most of the places in Nigeria. It's really good having a woman on top. So it's really, really good. It's a good one. So kudos to all the organizers. It's amazing. Men are the most important, you know, uh, species that we have. But a lot of us take them as the second, you know, uh, most important. But we feel that there's no way, there's no war, there's no life without women. And we decide to stand them, stand them out, identify them, honor them, and 
presented them to the world to be celebrated. Yeah, we didn't speak about the state governor's wife. We actually were a, were a platform nominated by the people, and we also gave it to the people to vote, and they voted massively, and she emerged as the most outstanding, I mean, best performing first lady of the year. At Wonder Baba today, GTV Africa.